Welcome to World Power Africa. Infrastructure, the expansion and modernization work on the Ahmed Seko Touré International Airport was officially launched this Saturday, April 8, 2023. This ceremony was chaired by Prime Minister Dr. Bernard Gomo accompanied by several members of his government and technical partners in particular airlines to I in his speech for the occasion, the general director of the Conakry Airport Management and Operating Company, Sojak, recalled the merits of this work which he is launching this Saturday. Our Ahmed Seko Touré Airport continues to face new challenges to effectively manage the ever-increasing number of passengers and goods, as well as to design environmentally friendly solutions and products, while meeting ever-increasing safety standards. Rigorous, today, required everywhere in the world. These challenges have highlighted the limits of our airport infrastructures which were designed and built around a traffic of 500,000, as has been recalled. Thus, the traveler's journey, far from being a joyful experience that he legitimately expects, turns into an ordeal, leading him to a weak perception of our platform today, more than ever, these are the main levers to ensure the competitiveness, attractiveness, and success of air transport. It is for all these reasons that it was more than necessary to equip ourselves with a modern airport platform that is respectful of the environment and above all meets the requirements of modernity. It is in this perspective that His Excellency the President of the Transition has made this project a presidential priority. This is why I ask you to join me in thanking him very sincerely for having made this historic decision. This project will inexorably contribute to the competitiveness of our airport compared to the rest of the world. With the development of this major project, ICAO certification is reaching out to us because it definitively resolves the many problems linked to non-compliance with airport safety and security standards. Allow me to give you a brief overview of the composition of our airport expansion and modernization project. It will consist of a new passenger terminal of 32,000 M2. A new cargo terminal of 3,600 M superscript 2. Administrative offices, from a control tower, from a new fire station. Of a new power plant, from a presidential pavilion, from a GTA building. Of a hotel complex, and the renovation of the runway and taxiways, these spectacular projects as I have just described, involves structural modifications and rigorous coordination. Because certain work must be done while maintaining operations. I am pleased to tell you that the work will be carried out by the Turkish constructor Al Bayrak, a reference in the world in the field of port and airport construction among other areas, a reference partner that I ask you to applaud. The project team will be made up of the best engineers in the world of aviation, some of whom have contributed to the construction of the best airport in the world according to ranking in 2022 and the first in Europe, which is none other than Istanbul Airport. I therefore invite all operators of the platform to work effectively to carry out this historic project, underlined the CEO of Sojak, Namori Kamara, for his part, the representative of the company responsible for carrying out this expansion and modernization work understands the importance of this trust placed in their Alberac company. I am proud that the expansion and modernization project of this airport, which bears the name of the founder and father of Guinea, Ahmed Seko Touré, has been entrusted to our Alberac group. Because this is not only a construction project, but it is a very significant project. So I would like to express my gratitude to His Excellency Mr. President of the Transition and all the Guinean authorities for this trust placed in our society. It is important to remember that the team starting the renovation of this airport has participated in the construction of 30 international airports, and above all they are engineers from Istanbul Airport which is currently the best in Europe. So we start the work with a very strong and experienced. We give a lot of importance to this airport for this sister country, said Mustafa Levent Adali, CEO of Allport Guinea and representing the Albayrak Group. As for the Minister of Transport, he believes that this expansion and modernization project will not only push other countries to give more respect to Guinea but above all increase the Guinean economy, the processing capacity of our airport, your airport, will be increased to 3 million passengers per year, with all the amenities specific to the most modern airports and the most suitable security and safety conditions. This airport, which will be environmentally friendly, will be equipped with a solar energy supply, which will make it, in this context, unique in West Africa. The start of expansion and modernization work at the Ahmed Seko Touré International Airport marks an important stage in the life of our nation, it symbolizes the confidence regained in our country, it is also a strong signal of revival of our economy which is a vector for accelerating growth. The completion of the airport works will offer airlines, which are the main users, a better environment for carrying out their activities. 
This will help stimulate the growth of air traffic. Also, this will constitute the best opportunity to prepare the airport for its certification in accordance with the standards of the International Civil Aviation Organization ICAO. I remain convinced that the completion of this project will be the pride of all Guineans, explained Felix Lama I, for his part, congratulated the SOJAC teams for the efforts made to meet this great challenge. He also asks partners, particularly the Albayrak company, to do everything possible to respect contractual deadlines. The Ahmed Seko Touré International Airport will be the showcase of New Guinea with modern facilities, competent staff, top safety standards, comfort for passengers, it must remain pleasant and competitive, I salute the efforts deployed in recent months by SOJAC teams to meet this challenge. Our gratitude to our technical partners and friendly countries like Turkey which, through the Albayrak Group, will allow us to carry out this beautiful work together. We humbly invite them to stay within the contractual deadlines to make this presidential initiative a reality. The government, through the Ministry of Transport, will do everything possible to design and implement the reforms and investment necessary to strengthen the reputation of the international airport, Ahmed Seko Touré, promised Dr. Bernard Gomau.As a reminder, the first part of the expansion and modernization work at Ahmed Seko Touré Airport will be carried out in six months and the cost is 25 million. The entire project will last 20 months. World Power Africa wishes you many thanks to each of you for your support. Stay tuned for exciting new surprises to comings to our next videos.